Hello everyone, my name is Matthew and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the process that I did for breaking down this Dolce & Cabana product render. As you could see, the scene is a very simple scene as we have just a bottle here and a couple planes, but each of these planes here are for lighting. Now I prefer to use image planes with emission shaders on them because I find the fall off to be a lot more softer. So for this, I'm just going to share, you, share with you my tips and tricks that I did for this product render. Now if we have a look in rendered mode, we could see that all of these lights play a specific role. And starting from the back, we got to have this light that gives us the fall off and it gives us a shadow on the ground plane and then the back of the glass. Now this is a technique used by photographers in lighting glass materials, um, bottles, because it's better to light the glass from behind rather from the, for the front. This is a top light. So this is a light at the top and it's just giving us little highlights on the edge of the cap to give it more definition and on the rim of the bottle and on the label itself. This is the light on the right and we are just highlighting some of the, the edge of the bottle here and this little highlight that we have here in the neck of the bottle and also on the logo. And the plane on the right, on the left, sorry, as we could see, gives us a highlight on the bottle and the cap and also the logo as well. So if we just go into look development mode and turn on all of these lights again, we can see that these lights have different forms of gradients on them. And the reason for that is to give us the, the fall off that we want and it gives us a little bit more control in the fall off that we want. So if we have, take a look here, for example, in the shading tab, we could see that this is the node setup that I have for the light at the back. As you can see, it has color ramps. It looks complex, but it's not really that complex. Um, we have a mid shader running into transparent BSDF just to give us a little fall off at the edge, which is so that it would hide some of the black edges of the plane. We have a emission shader. We have a color ramp. And the color ramp is there to do two things. It's to give the color of the lamp and also to change the intensity of the inner glow of the lamp. So you can see the closer I bring it to black, the brighter it gets, and the further away it, it, it softens the outside edges. Now, I also have a value node plugged into a math node with multiply with a gradient texture because this also gives me con more control over the, the intensity of the lamp as well. So as you could see here, as I carry up the value node, it multiplies the settings from the gradient texture. And I have the gradient texture on quadratic sphere. And you could change these to match the look that you're going for, but I just found that quadratic sphere from the normal spherical gives me a little bit more control in terms of the gradient itself. And that is feeding into a uh, mapping node on point and we're using object. The reason that we're using object is because if I scale this, it's going to stretch. Now, if I apply the scale, it's going to turn back into a sphere, but I wanted that stretch look, so to give it an ovalish kind of look, so that is why you'll use um, object coordinates instead of UV. Now, we're going to just transfer to the top light, and as we can see here, we have a similar node setup um, we have the value node, we have the color ramp again. We have it on quad quad quadratic, but here we, instead of using the image, the mapping node, I use a separate XYZ. And the reason for that is just to give me this fall off in the center. So as we can see, if we combine the two of these together, we would get a circle as well. If we take off this one, we would get it going horizontal, but I didn't want horizontal. So I use the square coordinates and then I could use, for example, this, the Z to control how thin 
and how thick I want some of the lighting as, as shown there as well. And here we use also object, cord, object um, coordinates. Now this light here, a similar node setup, most of them are just recreated, copied and pasted the node setup and just change the, the uh, type of coordinates I was using. So for this one, for example, we see we are using gradient and we use it as way. Now I could control this and this would allow me to then change the value left to right as well as the Z. It's just going to reset that for now. And again, we have, instead of using ease, I'm using B-spline. And that allows me then to get a more fine-tuned feather at the edge of the light itself. Now this one is the most simple because it's just an emission shader set with a value at one. And that is what I use to give me the setup that I have here. Now on the ground plane is just a simple um, be it principle BSDF. And we have here the roughness set to a value of 0 0.029 and the spread color. And the reason I did that because I, I didn't want, for example, I didn't want the reflection to be so harsh um, at the bottom. So by reducing the spread clarity and adding a little bit of roughness, um, it, it made it a little bit blurrier um, compared to the image reference I was looking at. So as you can see here also, we have this and this is just the image texture as we could go into UV editing we would see here that is this a, a PNG with Dose and Gabbana but what I did I use the invert node to change the color from black to white or a grayish color and I plug that into the principal BSDF I use a um, transparent BSDF as well so to hide the color the dark color that you would get from the image itself and that was it so as we could look here and see this is the result that we got if you look through look development mode simple lighting setup a simple model you know it wasn't that hard to model and here's the final results now I, I changed some settings just before so it's not going to look exactly, but I'm just going to put the final product at the end of the video as well. So if you enjoyed this video, I would ask you that you would leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you found this to be informative. I will be doing more videos like this to come. And yeah, thank you and have a nice day.